Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amanda and I create lifestyle and quality content on this YouTube channel and I hope you guys stick around during the fam joint squad. We would love to have you here. So as you can see by today's title, I'm doing another like journal prompt video. I've done about two in the past and they got a lot of good feedback and people enjoyed them and I enjoyed doing it so I was like let's let's do another one. So today's journal prompts are really for like self-discovery, self-reflection, and just like digging deep into your soul, digging deep into like yourself and just like a good time to like self-reflect, obviously. Um, and it's just like different prompts that will get you thinking, get you kind of into like dig deep into you, if you know what I mean. So here are just some prompts. I'm going to name them off, talk a little about them, and that's the video. So. I hope you guys end up writing some of these and I guess we'll just jump right into it. The first one is list your happy distractions. I feel like a lot of the times we could be in maybe ruts, we could be sad, feel in a lot of feelings and there's things that we can do to like make ourselves happy or like if we're in a rut, like what makes you happy? I feel like listing these out can be very beneficial, especially in the long run. Like if you're having a bad day and you don't know what to do, you can reflect back upon this journal prompt and see what you got, or like see what you wrote and see the different things that you think can make you happy or things that distract you from whatever you're going through or things that can get you out of those ruts. I feel like writing about this will not only serve you in the moment, but it will serve you long time, like long, long term. When you're feeling in a rut and you don't know what to do, you have these happy distractions and these different things that you already knew in your present time that would help you that you can use for your future. The next one is list some quotes that inspire the calm for you. So this means like write down some quotes that when you read them you just you get in that you get in a calm mood or like it really resonates to you or it makes you feel relaxed or calm or just vibe. I don't know, I always love to go through Pinterest and like see quotes and like I really resonate with a lot of quotes that I see and when I do I write them down so I feel like this is a good way to like scroll through Pinterest, have some fun, find some quotes that resonate with you when you think of the word calm, relax and all those things and then you can also reflect back on these um, in the future and I don't know, I'm just like a really big quote girl so I love quotes. I love a chance to go through Pinterest and find some quotes. Today, what are the top three things you are most grateful for? I feel like we reflect a lot on the things that we want to let go of, a lot of the things that anger us or sadden us or all these things, but we never really reflect on what we're grateful for or what makes us happy or things that are just like a happy situation. We don't reflect upon those a lot. And I feel like journaling is always um, seen as a place to pour out your feelings, pour out your sadness, pour out your anger, all these things, but it's never like seen as a place to pour out your happiness or anything like that. So I feel like you can reflect on things that make you grateful, things that make that like you're grateful for, um, can kind of like make a switch on journaling and a switch on the way that people see it. So that one is one of my favorites and I've been doing it recently. If I'm writing in the morning, I always do like, things that I'm grateful for. What do you value most about today? So this is a good one to do at the end of the day or midday, not in the mornings, but like something good that happened to you or something that you're valuing today or something that really resonated with you today or something that you really stood out to you today. I feel like reflecting at the end of the night on these certain things can be very important and crucial, especially if you're having a bad day. You can sit there and be like, what out of like, all the things that happened to me today, out of all the bad things that happened to me today, what are some good things that I can get out of this? Or what are some good things that I felt? Or you know what I mean? Like, like this kind of like goes in hand in hand with what I was saying before. Like we always reflect on the bad things, but we never really reflect on the good things. So if you're having a bad day, sit down and reflect on things that you value today or things that made you happy amongst the bad things. How can you make tomorrow better? This one is always something that I like to write about too, because even if you have a good day or if you have a bad day, whatever it may be, you can always have different ways that you can make the next day better and I don't know I don't really know how much you can write about this or like how long you can write but also like for journaling I feel like people always like think that you have to write these big ass paragraphs so sometimes I literally write two lines I'm like I'm good like I got out what I had to get out and I move on to like whatever I want to move on to so if you're just sitting here and you're like how can I make tomorrow better than today was whether you had a really good day or you had a really bad day just reflecting on like the next day and like moving on to like something new is something that I really do enjoy. Write about a past struggle that you overcame. How has it made you stronger? I love this one. I 
have never actually written about this one and when I saw it I was like this is something that I need to write about in the future or I need to write about one day. There's so many things that we like go through as humans, as people, as anything. Like there's so many things that we go through that have led to us like being stronger and being more capable and more happy and all these things like there's all like every single person in this entire universe has been through struggles has been through bad times has been through pain anger sadness and those are the things that make us stronger and make us grow as people and like that's when you see the most growth is when you go through the hardest times of your life you will see the most growth and the most strength within you so i feel like even though these past struggles that we've had had a really bad mark on our lives, reflecting on how that has made us stronger and how that has made us grow is something that is honestly like beautiful at the end of the day. Like, I don't know if that's cheesy, but like, it's so nice to see how we can grow and we can prosper and like how the bad things in our lives led us to like who we are today. So I feel like reflecting on that is something that I also really enjoy. What is something that's missing from your life? I feel like this is something that is a good reflection because right now when I'm sitting here, I'm like, what's missing from my life? I'm like, I can't like pinpoint something, but there obviously, most of the time there is something missing from your life. If you're not like 100% happy, there's something missing. And I think just reflecting on that and figuring out what what that thing is for you like I probably I would I would have to sit there for like a good chunk of time and like figure out what's missing for me because I don't know but I feel like once you figure that out it can help you get to like a happy place get to where you want to be and yeah I mean we're all missing a little something so once you figure that out you're good to go what distracts you from achieving your goals this is something that I feel like for myself like my self-doubt is something that distracts me from achieving my goals I'm always like I'm doing good but like I don't know if I'm good enough or these people are better than me so like I feel like me thinking that constantly can really can really distract me from achieving the goals that I want to achieve because I'm always thinking about this at the back of my head and it's always such a distraction and if I don't 100% believe in myself how am I going to get to where I want to get to so this is something that I have to work on and that I'm working on and it's, it's a challenge um but honestly self-doubt is a killer but at least I know what's distracting me and I know that I have to work on it so once you figure out whatever is that distraction for you, you can work on it and then you'll get to wherever you want to be. Write about a time that you felt proud of yourself. This is, this is something I enjoy too. I mean, I feel like I'm saying I enjoy all of them, but I really do because I'm not, I wouldn't be telling you guys to write about these things if I don't enjoy them or if I don't like them. But reflecting on those times that you felt proud of yourself is something that is like, we don't do enough of. Like we never... Yeah, we have our good times or like we achieve good things and we think about it in the moment and then we forget about it because we always think about the bad things that are happening to us or the bad things that we did or the the failures that we've had and we never really stick to the achievements that we've made. So reflecting on the things that you're proud of yourself, if it's passing school, getting a good grade, um, hitting a milestone, I don't know, getting a new job, like whatever it may be those are really, really big accomplishments and we shouldn't brush them to the side just because we have other bad things happening in our lives too. We reflect a lot on the bad things, but we never reflect a lot on the good things. So I'm just putting that out there that we should always just, you know, vibe with the good things happening to us too and never forget that they don't have to be brushed to the side. You can always have them in the forefront, like your struggles that you're having. Write a letter to yourself accepting yourself for who you are. This one I feel like could be a big tearjerker or it could be a very like hitting home or like a very emotional one to write about. But honestly, I think we need it and I think we need to do it. And I think it can very, like be very, very very helpful for you because a lot of us are always stuck in this I don't like who I am I don't accept myself I wish I was this that the other like we're always trying to change ourselves but we never kind of reflect on like what we love about ourselves and why we love ourselves and why we accept ourselves and why we love who we are so I feel like writing an open letter to yourself about that would be me a tearjerker for me at least and the last one is write down five positive things you can tell yourself instead of the typical negative self-talk this is i feel like this is very a positive journal prompt segment or positive journal prompt video but just writing down five things that you enjoy about yourself instead of writing like i don't like this i don't like that i don't like this i don't like that like it just it really does help and it can go a really really long way especially if you do it in the morning you're just like setting yourself up for a great day and a great time and yeah, I feel like just 
I don't know, just writing some good things about you just gets your gets your head in the right place and gets you happy and all these things and I just feel like it can really set set you off on the right foot or the right the right way. I don't know the word, but writing starting your morning off with like five things that you love about yourself or five things that you're happy about or five things like five things that have to do with happiness or like anything like positive is a great way to start your day. So guys, these are just a few journal prompts that I have for you guys today and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have been journaling every single morning for the past like month and a half and it's really just sets you off on the right, a right, a good and right way to start your day. So if you guys aren't into journaling or you don't really know what time of day is best, I personally love mornings because it just like sets you off on a good start. You get all your emotions, your thoughts or whatever you have to get out and then you're ready to start the day. So yeah um like i said i hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys should comment down below a journal prompt that you guys have that you think we should write about or one of your favorite journal prompts or whatever you want to write about about journals or journal prompts or anything please comment them down below and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you next time bye guys